Now I'd like to explain how to waterproof your matches using wax. Now I don't do this sort of thing anymore. I don't even buy matches anymore really. I buy these, which is a good old ferro rod and uh, a good old cheap lighter. And because uh, I use the ferro rod most of the time, I don't use the lighter much and I've had this lighter over 12 months. So uh, it's still going pretty good. So I've never refuel. I don't know. Can you? No, I can't refuel that one. So yeah. So the fuel doesn't evaporate. So they, they're pretty good. Um, also these days you could use the old zipper, the Zippo lighter, which is all right. Or the permanent match, which is okay. The only thing with these is eventually the fuel will evaporate. So um, you need a rubber cover for these really to stop it evaporating. But they're fine. Uh, also, these are not new bits of kit. I had one of these in the late 1980s. And I've actually seen one in the late, with a late 1960s uh, date on it. So... Uh, not 100% sure if it was from the late 1960s, but I'm pretty sure it was a, a late 1960s date. So there you go. That's how it works. Permanent match. <laughs> the only trouble is it's not really permanent because the heat will go up here and this handle will get hot. So <laughs> it's not that permanent, <clears throat> but it will keep burning. Anyway, also in the day we used to use non-safety matches which is what I've got here. I had to buy them on line because uh, you can't buy them anymore in the UK because apparently they're dangerous. They might just blow up. Uh, they're all right. They're not, they're not, nothing wrong with them. They're not unsafe at all. And uh, the difference being the non-safety match will um, strike anywhere, strike on any, any sort of rough surface or almost any rough surface. Uh, it's got a little sandpaper sort of effect there. And um, you can strike it on a metal zip when we had metal zips in the day. Or uh, a, a dry stone. Or um, you, can't, you can't strike it on a wet stone. It wouldn't work. And they're, they're very prone for absorbing moisture, both the match and the box. So um, they, they, that's why in the, in the day, these were the better thing however now they they've been superseded slightly it's these that are the better thing and i and i have had this for 12 over 12 months it's, it's still working so it's pretty good anyway this is how i used to waterproof my matches using wax just get your match like this and carefully dip it underneath the flame in the wax, give it a twist and bring it out. And that is it. Just one layer. That's enough. And then put it somewhere safe. I'll do that again, just sort of show. Get your match underneath the flame, into the wax, give it a spin and take it out. And that's it. It's easy as that. And there's uh, some um, I done earlier on. I'll just show that you can strike it on any rough surface, and it, you don't have to take the wax off. If you do two layers, you've got to take the wax off. Anyway, here we go. There. Without taking the wax off, it works just fine. There you go. And that's how you. Uh, waterproof your matches using wax so thanks very much thanks for watching and uh, i hope you found the video informative and enjoyable and uh, yeah thanks very much cheers